I'm Gary Clardy and I'm back today to do part four of the Beard Resonator Guitar Kit Construction. That's a mouthful. Well, we put the kerfing in last time and since then I flipped this rim and uh, put it in, put the kerfing in on the top. And as you recall, I said we're going to do something different than the basket. We're going to go with the sound post. So today, and also I'm putting a baffle in, and I'm going to put a couple little blocks in this rim to glue that with. And then we're going to count, concentrate on gluing the back bracing in since the basket's not going in, there's a lot of tension when you get those strings on. So you got to add some tensile strength to the uh, body of the guitar. So we're putting in some bracing here, which the sound post will ride off of. And then some bracing up toward the front on the back. And then also, we're gluing in a couple of braces here on the front of this to keep this from crumpling in and then also a little uh, block of wood here that I made from a piece of uh, vintage walnut stock that I had is going right in there and the neck or the uh, fretboard will fasten to that. So uh, I've made these braces. I just want to show you. I started with a piece of Sitka spruce that came from Alaska Wood Specialties. You can get a big box of that. Uh, really good pricing on it. So the first thing we want to do, just want you to see this is fairly clean now. I did a little cleaning on it, but I haven't done a lot of cleaning, and this is, uh, the inside of this looks good so far. And everything appears to be lined up well. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue these little pieces in, and this little piece, as I said, will carry the baffles, there's a, or uh, the baffle, there's a baffle that's going in to help direct the sound. And that baffle will be made of Lexan. It'll be a clear piece of Lexan. I like the Lexan because it's pretty tough. So let me go ahead. So we'll let that set up now. And the rim is actually, once those dry in, we will be close to being finished with the rim. And uh, the next move I will make is I'm going to redirect my cameras. I'm my own cameraman, so I'm going to redirect these cameras over. And uh, we're going to the go bar deck to glue these pieces in. And I also am going to make a uh, ring to go on the inside of the top that will set in here. It's out of half inch plywood. It'll also stick out into here a little bit for the rim of the resonator to set down in. And the sound post will go from the, that ring down to set on these braces. So, uh, we'll see how that works. So, we're getting ready to do the reinforcing for the top that goes under the uh, cone. And we have a piece of 10 ply Baltic birch plywood. I marked it diagonally from corner to corner and found the intersection, that which is the center of this piece, and drilled a pilot hole, 
for my pivot point of quarter of an inch. And now we're going to cut the outside one first. And this will um, let us keep our pivot point until we get the rest of the work done. So here we go. And now we will finish in adjusting the depth on this so that it cuts all the way through. Okay, here we go. shabby needs a little work I'm going to take this back on my spindle sander and clean the inside of it up a little bit okay very nice now we're ready I'm gonna to try to mark this thing so that it has the same dimension same margin all the way around it I'm getting this where it looks very close. I just kind of see here. Three eighths. I'm going to mark that so that I can make sure that it's lined up. this so I can see it from the back side. Which means now I have to modify this block a little bit. Okay, now I have the block. So be fine. And the two braces. set up and go over to the uh, go bar decks so we can get everything glued up here okay we're here at the go bar deck now and normally I would be gluing a back and a front in a radius dish uh, so because my flat tops actually have radius to both the back and the front and uh, so what I did is just flip this over and uh, it has a nice flat back. So this top will actually be flat and the back will actually be flat. So I'm going to clean this up here a little bit. Got all the dust off of it. This is the support ring for the top and also it holds the pan the resonator dish we'll get it glued up here glue but I don't really want to over glue of course a lot of it will squeeze out if you do but 
it sure does help to clean up, particularly when you're building fast and the glue stays flexible for a few days. Um, it just is tough to get cleaned up. Not like chipping glue that's dried and a little bit brittle. Okay, got my lines on here. same margin. These rods really do an excellent job of putting enough pressure on them. It's going to go right around. Put enough on those when the thing is sliding. And that happens sometimes. length of the arm. Gonna let that set a minute to let glue get a little tacky. glued up. Get the glue brush down. This one, get it ready. Move it out a little bit, cover everything with it. Now we will uh, go in, stick all this stuff here, put the go bar rods on it. I figured that was going to run around a little bit there. Sometimes they do. Okay, there you go. We uh, have that glued. I'm going to slide that back in here and uh, get it out of the way and we will get with the back. That one just flipped. I guess I've got it pushing too much that way. Because I worked it from that side. We'll put a little pressure back. The other way on it. Going to be good. I'm going to 
that sit there for a minute and tack up so that maybe it won't slide around so bad. Make sure you get all the surface covered on this glue. But don't overdo it. One to go here. Start setting her bracing back here. Her clamps, I guess you could say. Number two there, trying to slide out of place. So have to keep an eye on those braces when you're doing this because they will try to run everywhere. With you. Make sure you check, check, and double check. There you go. We uh, are complete with that stage. I'm going to roll this back into place and let it sit there and set up for a couple of days. And uh, then we'll get back after it. So that completes part four of this series. And uh, this is Gary Clardy signing off for now, and thank you for watching.